Hello everyone. I just wanted to go ahead and share with you a piece of software that I found that was very helpful. This is free software. It's available on Windows 10 only as far as I know. I don't think you can get it for Windows 7, but it's available in the Windows Store. So under the Start menu, and, or I'm sorry, the Microsoft Store, go to the Microsoft Store, and then you would search for this. It's the Pressure Waveform Overlays program. This is helpful for if you have a scope and you don't already have any kind of overlay software, this one is free, like I said, Windows 10 only, but you would just take whatever your capture is and then take a screenshot, however you wanna do that, and then you import it into here. So for example, we're gonna go over here to File, Open, and let's see, not that one. Okay, so we're gonna go right here. This one, I created a misfire in cylinder two by unplugging the injector. And just make it full screen, make it a little bit easier to see. Several things you can do in here. For example, you can have these cursors right here. So zero to 720 degrees. This mark is cylinder two top dead center or ignition anyway. So that's 720 degrees. If you want to see the individual strokes, you come up here to the compression cursors, I guess, and then it divides that into the four strokes. Okay, so there's your expansion, exhaust, intake, and compression right there. And then it starts over, obviously. Okay, next thing we're going to do we can put in a firing order. Okay, so the firing order on this vehicle, first of all, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose 12 labels. This is doesn't have to be the number of cylinders you have. I just want extra. So come up here, it's gonna create it right there. And it's gonna be, I'm, I'm just gonna start at number two. So two, six, five, four, three, one, eight, seven, two, six, five, whoops, five, four. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this down here. I'm just gonna set that right there. Like I said, that's ignition on cylinder two. I'm gonna slide this over, line cylinder two back up right there, and then that way I have each cylinder laid out. So if I wanted to move, I'm sorry, if I wanted to go off a six, for example, or five or whatever I wanted to go off of, I could do that easily. But we're just gonna stick with number two for right now. All right, so there's your firing order right there. You don't really need to do that. I'm just showing you a couple of other ways of looking at this. I'm gonna go over this waveform a little bit more in another video, I'm just using it to show you, I've got eight cylinders. I'm sinking off of cylinder number two, and I'm just going to put in my firing order. So one, eight, seven, two, six, five, four, three, and go. Okay, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna line that up right there. I'll shorten it right there so there's all my firing events and up here in the corner it's got the color code in case you can't figure that out already the colors to me make sense anyway so red for uh the the expansion i think of as the power stroke and then exhaust and then intake and then compression so these two especially make sense to me i just think fire and dirt <laughs> or soot so that's how I think about it. It makes sense in my head anyway. So we have cylinder two power, cylinder two exhaust, which if you see this spike right here, that was my misfire going through the exhaust. So that this yellow trace is my exhaust pulse. I've got a pulse sensor in the exhaust. But I just wanted to show you this 
software. You have these other tools like you would with like a paint program, but so far for me, this is perfect. I mean, this is really all I'm using it for right now, but you can also change the opacity of the overlays to make it easier to use. Uh, this one you cannot do a opacity difference and same thing with this one down here. So, but like I said, if you wanted to move this over, say running off of number six, you could do the same thing right there. But I just thought this was a useful little program, uh, especially considering it's free. I know there's some other ones that you can pay for. Uh, I believe AES Wave offers one from the drivability guys. And I'm wanting to say there might be another one or two out there as well. But this one was free. I like free. And uh, I don't know if there's any advantages to the other ones. Originally, I was going to get one of the overlays, but I don't know if those are actually an entire program or if they're just like an overlay image that it creates, but this I thought was very useful. So, and then you can save the images, import other images, anything like that if you want as well. So I just thought it was helpful. So I thought I would share this with you. Uh, hope you like it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments and I appreciate you watching. Thank you.